Oh my gosh, come on, you're a good dog. Very nice, easy, wait, easy, easy. Come on, slow down a little bit, nerd. Don't get in such a hurry. You went from not wanting to do it to do it all at once. Up, up, very nice. Up, wait. What are you in such a hurry for? Where are you going? Easy, very nice. Up, 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 up. Good dog. You a little bit worried about Eli? All these dogs know you shady, Eli. Easy. Very nice. Oh, you're making such good progress. You are a fine animal. Very good. Hup, hup. Oh my gosh, give me my leash back. Where are you going, nerd? Come on, hup, hup. You see this kind of dog, Eli, they get like uh, should get to doing really well, like some people, you know, like, but if they make a teeny tiny mistake or if somebody starts watching them, they have a little go to pieces. You know, how many guys do you know that are good fighters in the gym, but then fall apart uh, when they're like, uh, you know, in front of a thousand people? Very nice. Well, dogs, uh, they're the same. Well, it's all athletics, really. You know, I mean, think about all the guys that are great at basketball or great at football during practice, but only some of them are great you know, game time. Wait. Easy. Slow down, nerd. We'll do it one more time, then we'll end with a little uh, cursory physical examination. Up, up, up. Very nice. You're doing very well. And she didn't growl at you at all when you were walking her? Very nice. Oh, it's a good dog. She's learning to like people. Now, she's never going to like people like, you know, No Name or any of those labs. But if I can just get her to where, like, she's relatively indifferent, easy, towards uh, people, especially little people, you know, her owner's going to be pretty happy with her. She's a nice dog. She just doesn't deal well with change. She wants everything the same every day, you know. She's like the old lady in the neighborhood that doesn't want any kids on her, <laughs> on her yard. Up, 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 up. Easy. Very nice. Up, up. Very good. Wait. Easy. Up, up. I'm going to go over here and put her on this table. Oh my gosh. Nope. Get on the exam table. There you go. Let me look in your ears. Very nice. Let me look at those big teethers. Oh, you got some nice teethers. Oh, yes. Let me stroke her. Stroking them always helps calm them down, doesn't it, baby? Very nice. No padding. She says, I don't like to be padded, Stony. Not like a man with a slow hand. With an easy touch. Very nice. Oh, you a very good dog. Okay. You can be off work. Give me another dog. All right, we'll see if we can, can't knock out this course with Jacks real quick. Very nice. We're getting to where we're not having to use too often many rewards. Easy. Very nice. You a smart boy. Up, up. Very nice. Up. Basically, what we're doing here, Eli, is just every day, like, wait. I tell him that I'll pay him a little bit farther in the future. So in the beginning stages, I was paying him at every obstacle, and then I did it every other obstacle, and then every third obstacle. And now what I've switched to is uh, I just pay him randomly. So he doesn't know at what point in this pattern he's going to get paid. And that keeps the game interesting for him, uh, and it keeps it interesting for me. And it really, in all honesty, it makes it easy for the owners. Because uh, listen, the owner's never going to do the same things uh, twice the same way. <laughs> right? They're just like every time you tell an owner to do something, wait. Like they do it one way in the morning, a different way in the afternoon, a different way in the evening. Wait, so if we go ahead and build a certain amount of randomness into our pattern before we send the dogs home, easy, then uh, it works out to everyone's advantage. Again, getting back to that up, up, concept of the 360 degree win. Let's put him up here on the exam table. Up, up. We used to really have a lot of trouble with him up when he would get up here because he'd be in a hurry. Good, so I just constantly put him up here now let him on there, let him come off, good. They make, a, make, you know, make him understand that being up on the exam table is not a big deal, good. And then just every so often, I make him wait, 
and that's when I do my cursory physical exam. Look at his ears, look at his teeth, feel all his joints, look at his privates. Good. And then he's off work. Easy peasy, dude. Easy peasy. Up, up, up. Okay, so here's May, young Malinois. And uh, so what we're going to work on here is a cursory physical examination. It is super, super duper important that you get these Malinois used to being examined when they're young because they have such a bad reputation at the vet for snipping and snapping, being scared, jumping off tables and stuff. So I put her on the elevated surface and I give her some treats. Right, very nice. And then I start to examine her. Okay, so every day... I'm going to look in her ears. This is, this, this is only May's first day here, so she's going to be a little nervous. I can alleviate that nervousness by being calm, attentive, and polite myself, right? Okay, I'm going to look at her teeth. On her big teeth seem to be in for the most part, so that's good. good. I'm going to feel down her spine. I'm going to lift up her tail. Look at her privates. Very nice. I'm going to feel each joint. Good. Feel in between each toe. Very nice. And then I'm going to squeeze her belly because the vets, when they palpate the belly, they, you know, they, they, they pretty, give it a pretty good squeeze, you know. Good, very nice. Every so often, I'm going to say, hey, appreciate it. Perfect, good. Good. Over time, I'm going to start to, like, throw me a little bit of a stay in there so that, like, I can get the dog in the habit of staying on the exam table so that I can be in the room and count on the dog to stay and not jump up as I'm speaking with the vet. Very nice. Okay, good. Calm energy. Okay, May. That's very good. Very nice. 